Our goal in our lab is to be able to manufacture uh, human tissues at therapeutic scales. So really trying to bridge the gap between cells in a dish and human organs in a patient. My specialty is, is in 3D bioprinting, the ability to pattern cells and tissues in, in precise three-dimensional environments. To create organs and tissues and different kinds of technologies to help patients that have different kinds of diseases. Um, we're focusing on cardiac diseases and making cardiac tissues, those of the heart. The ink you're using is not a resin which will get cured into a solid plastic later on, but actually a soft biocompatible material that contains living cells. And you can directly pattern that ink into a predetermined architecture of your tissue. The heart is obviously a hugely important organ. Heart disease is one of the leading causes of uh, death. In fact, it is the leading cause of death in the United States. If we want to aim high and you know, shoot for the moon and be able to manufacture an organ, heart is a very difficult organ to manufacture. It contains over 10 billion cells, uh, over two dozen cell types distributed in complex 3D arrangements to form a functional and beating organ. We need many orders of magnitude, more cells than practically anyone else in, in this field to be able to, to make these tissues. And it's not going to work the first time. We need to practice not once, but a thousand times uh, to learn how we write these tissues and keep them alive. So we're really looking at building a pipeline of enabling trillions of cells. Secondly, in order to make tissue at that scale, we're going to need new 3D printing hardware. So we're working on technologies to be able to manufacture human tissues larger, faster, and at higher resolution. And finally, we are initiating our collaborations with surgical colleagues here at the School of Medicine at Stanford to be able to start learning the needs from their end. How tough does the tissue need to be to be implanted? I think the possibilities of 3D bioprinting for generating customized patient therapeutics are truly unlimited. If we can get all of this work to succeed, then we can um, address very wide-scale issues in this country and the world. Surgical processes to manage patients born with structural heart defects are really optimized, I think, as far as they can really go. We can actually get to the root cause of the problem, manufacture the tissue for the patient, provide them with a normal, happy and healthy uh, duration of life. This is going to be obviously an enormous generational challenge, so better get started. <laughs>